Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. The Apple Store went down and we glued ourselves to our computers on this Earth Day to bring you the coverage of the Spring Loaded event, Apple's first big launch of 2021. And boy, what a big colorful reveal. The company treated us to everything we've been expecting for ages. As far as Apple events go, the Gather Round event was extremely focused, featuring important things that you've been waiting to hear, like the new color of the iPhone 12, with so many specific things there shouldn't have been much to miss but as always there was here are 10 things you may have missed in apple's spring loaded event number 10 apple podcasts it was a bumper hour-long event with the company introducing loads of new products and features to its existing slate of software and applications one of those is the apple podcasts now, we all know Apple was the first major tech company to popularize the podcasting format with its iTunes player. And seeing increased competition from the likes of Spotify and Amazon's Audible, it's looking to secure its place in the market for years to come. It's putting out a new and improved Apple Podcast app that will include some cool new features. New channel sections will be introduced to collate similar podcasting content across genres and creators. A fully redesigned app will give greater emphasis to personalized recommendations and colorful landing pages for the podcast themselves. It's a great opportunity for podcast creators too. There's a new Apple Podcast subscriptions option that creators can tap into, letting them set annual and monthly pricing for their shows and offer additional premium content for their most loyal listeners, including ad-free listening. It's an option rolling out to 170 regions as of next month. Don't worry, Apple will definitely be taking a sizable amount of that total profit. Number 9. Season 2 of Ted Laszlo Confirmed Apple's event today was full of hardware and new products, but the company also took time to have fun by unveiling a new trailer for Ted Laszlo's second season. The show has been one of the breakout hits on Apple TV+, Plus, the company's fledgling streaming service. It stars Jason Sudeikis as a perpetually positive football coach who takes on a gig helming an English soccer team. Season 2 follows Laszlo as he leads AFC Richmond during a season of turmoil, with the club recently regulated to a lower league. That said, it looks just as charming as season 1, with plenty of folksy expressions and largely the same cast of beloved characters. Number 8. Apple TV Auto Collaboration Apple TVs have been making waves in the market because of their amazing functionalities and color which no other TV produces. The new Apple TV 4K doesn't just feature a speedy A12 Bionic mobile chipset and doesn't only come with a redesigned remote with easy Siri voice recognition access and playback scroll wheel controls. No, it'll auto calibrate your Apple TV's box outpost to ensure your screen is looking its best. That means you won't have to go into the menu options and play around with the control because the TV will do it for you. This is an interesting approach from Apple, we have to say. It tailors the output of the Apple TV's box itself based on a reading that's given from your iPhone's camera in an accompanying calibration app. Basically, the TV is doing all the work for you. It's the benefit of Apple's interconnected ecosystem at work. Apple knows how its iPhone cameras perform, so it can be sure of the quality of the reading and information it can send back to the TV box. Very smart. Catch up to that, China! Number 7. iOS 14.5 Apple actually decided not to put this into the actual pre-recorded announcement event itself, but they made a side announcement stating that iOS 14.5 will be rolling out to iPhone users next week. Yeah, Apple is sneaky like that, so don't worry if you think you missed that. The new update is expected to include new features like the option to change how Siri sounds, improved privacy features, the ability to unlock a Face ID phone with an Apple Watch, and connect the new PS5, DualSense, and Xbox Series X gamepads to devices too. These are just the features known to the public. We can never know what Apple has in store for us. 
Number 6. Apple Card While you must have seen this card, there's a chance you didn't get the reason behind it. Well, what am I here for? As we know, mobile payment options in the US is weak. While nearly two-thirds of Chinese customers prefer to use mobile payments, just 8% of Americans do. Americans need a reason and incentive to adopt, and Apple believes the Apple Card is one way to do it. The credit card, which relies on partnership with Goldman Sachs as the issuing bank, you know, the father of all banks, focuses on an instant cashback reward system. With Apple Card, any transaction with Apple, in-store online, the iPhone upgrade program, and even App Store purchases all earn you 3% cash back. Now, that's a lot of reward for just transactions. At select merchants, you can now get 3% too, with more added all the time. Any other Apple Pay transaction nets you 2%, and if you use the physical titanium card, you get 1% cash back off each purchase. That's free money. Isn't that crazy? Applying for the card is simple and available through the Apple Wallet app. Apple asks you to confirm your name and address, verify your identity, and enter the last four digits of your social security number, as well as your income. That's it. You don't need a great credit history or score anymore. As Bob Dylan said, times are changing. Number 5. New Color Apple has once again gone overboard with its amazing color scheme. Zooming into iPhone, the omnipresent mobile phone has gotten a new color. The color purple! It gives a whole new look to the iPhone 12 and brings back the memories of the iPhone 5C. What phone was that? This lovely color will be available in iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini. Pre-order this Friday and it'll be available in store from April 30th. Launched with the Simpsons reference. This is as brave as it gets. Number 4. AirTag We've all been there. You have to leave a friend's place after having a blast, but you can't find your car keys anywhere. So you just start searching everywhere and asking people like an idiot. Well, don't worry. Apple has you covered once again. They introduced the AirTag in the latest event, a gadget similar to a tile that users can attach to items like keychains, backpacks, or even a stuffed animal. It's a small silver disc like the Apple logo. It leverages the company's Find My tool so users can quickly find it. The software for AirTag uses precision finding to better assist you in finding a lost item. The best part is, millions of other Apple devices can help you find your lost things, as the Find My app is much better connected now. You don't have to worry about privacy either. Only you can see where your AirTag is. Your location data and history are never stored in the AirTag itself. Devices that rely on the location of your AirTag also stay anonymous. It costs $29, while a four-pack costs $99. Number 3 new iMacs. Apple launched a brand new range of iMac computers, and they're back on that wonderful coloring styling that the first wave of Johnny Ive iMacs offered. Back in those plastic bubble days, running on the Apple M1 chip, seven shades will be available starting at $1,299. And a new range of Apple keyboards, Magic Mice, and Magic Trackpads will be available in colors to match the new iMacs. The display comes with a 4.5K resolution Solution, an upgrade on the 4K screen from before. One of the most welcome changes was the introduction of the 1080p webcam to replace the low-quality 720p version in old models. Not only that, but the iMac now comes with an image signal processor that improves image quality even more. But the best thing about the new iMac is definitely the keyboard. It will finally come in a configuration that offers Touch ID fingerprint security, keeping prying eyes away from your personal files. Unfortunately, the Magic Mouse still has to be charged from that ill-placed underside port. Number 2 the all-new iPad Pro. Apple has finally announced the upgrade to the iPad Pro that we've all been waiting for. The iPad Pro has been due for a processor refresh as well as some more advanced camera and screen technology, and now Apple has delivered. The device will also include the M1 chip, first time seen in an iPad. The new iPad Pro will be available in two different sizes, 12.9 inches and 11 inches. The device will come with up to 16 gigabytes of memory and up to two terabytes of storage. 
the 12.9 inch model price begins at $1,099, with the 11 inch model starting at $799. Key among the 2021 upgrades is the addition of Apple's M1 chip, first announced last November and by far the highest performance processor the company has ever created. The addition of the 8 core chip to the iPad Pro could mean a huge speed boost and better battery performance, with Apple promising a 50% performance improvement over the previous version. Number 1. Apple commits again to carbon neutrality. Finally, the first announcement Apple made tonight. From the supply chain to the use of its products, CEO Tim Cook stated that Apple is committing to becoming net zero in its carbon output by 2030, right across its business. They came out with this initiative when the iPhone 12 was released by removing the charger and the hands-free from the box. This time, the CEO has again said that the company is committing to removing 1 million tons of carbon every year from its operations. It's interesting to see Apple prepared to offset the energy costs of the use of its products, too. Well, when you're one of the biggest companies in the world, you can do anything, even start its own country. Now we hope Tim doesn't get that idea anytime soon. What was your favorite thing from Apple's Spring Loaded event? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.